Hi everybody, this is Dave Gardner from The Rolling Planet in Red Dog Music, Edinburgh. I'm delighted today to be joined by Mr. David Allen, who's here yeah. from Roland, and he is going to be showing us the beautiful TR8S. How are you doing, David? I'm you good, are? thank you. How are you? Excellent. Very well, thank you. <laughs> well, uh, I guess without further ado, shall we get a closer look at the TR8S? Yeah, so we'll, we've chosen our kick there. I'll just put that out, and um, we can yeah, just put some basic drum things there. Clap, maybe a little bit of a rim shot. Okay, so just just a basic little beat there. And uh, now I'm gonna put a bass line in. Uh, so actually, on the low tom, this is the reason I've colored because you can color the faders as well. Yeah. So I've colored these ones slightly differently because they actually contain different sounds, so like a bass and vocals and stuff. Yeah. So it's an easy way to keep track. So I'm just going to put a few bass hits there. Okay, so there's my, my bass. Um, and um, we also have motion recording actually. So I, this means I can uh, you know, record various parameter changes. Uh, I can either do it live or I can actually program them manually in the sequencer. Mm -hmm. And here I've, I've programmed the pitch of this bass to be a melody. So. You just heard the one single note, yep. and now if I turn it on... Oh yeah, so I have a, nice. a proper bass line going yeah, on. Yeah. And we can bring in some you know, little chords here as well. Uh, now in the sequencer we also have, we have different modes of sequencing. So this was basic step sequencing. Sure. Uh, of course I can do it live as well, in different ways. So. Uh, we now have this new uh, velocity sensitive trigger pad here, ah, so I right, can just okay. yeah. trick my sounds that way. So if I want to put some, some ride cymbal live and have some nice dynamics on that, I'll just play it live. So. And I can even... Yeah, I was gonna say it's so fast to, yeah. to get to get an idea out. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, and I can even I can even change like if I want some to have to finally adjust the velocity, for instance, sure. I can just hit a note, I can hit the pad, and it will say okay, velocity eighty there. Uh, and now I can just either change the velocity manually of that step, or I can even play the velocity. So I can just go. I want that one to be really weak, this one as well, and that one to be harder, and so on. Yeah, so you yeah. can do it that way, um, and. Uh, so we've played that live. We can also play uh, the whole kit live by just going to, to instant play here. Oh yeah, yeah. there's my, my whole kit. Yeah. Um, turn the hi -hats up there. So I can record that way as well, which yeah. is, but it's a single velocity, but still we can. So we can also edit it afterwards as well. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So I'll just go to instant record instead. Just go. Quantize and ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, finally, uh, I'm gonna put just a little. Uh, obviously, one of the uh, huge differences between this and the TR8 is the sampling port yes. that you can already hear. Uh, you can already hear a bunch of samples here, but but if if make it more obvious with some vocals. Yeah. <laughs> some classic yeah. 90s house yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, things like that. Uh, now, what what I can also do is actually. This is also a really nice improvement because I can go, so we're playing part E here as mm -hmm. you can see, so that's yeah. why it's blinking red. Uh, I can of course instantly just go and start uh, playing with F, but what I can also do is if I hold the TRX button here and I press F, okay. now I'm still playing part E, yes. but I'm editing part F. Oh, right, so okay. if yeah, you yeah. start a gig from scratch, you start from zero, you can build your basic beat and then you can build the next part while the first is playing. So this is really useful for live performance especially. So yeah. let's just like put a very simple fill there. We're gonna put just full on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, so, okay, so now, <laughs> yeah. 
that's my fill. Simple as that. Yeah. yeah. But what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna assign this to the fill in button. So we have okay. a little fill in section here. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have auto fill in every two bars, every four bars, and so on. Yeah. Uh, and you can also trigger fills manually with the manual trigger button here. So I'm gonna assign this this F that I made yeah. as as my my fill in. So whenever okay. I press the manual trigger, it's gonna play part F as yeah. a fill. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. But but the really interesting thing is I can do this momentarily. Yeah. So yeah. if I play this just for like a, a little fraction of a beat. So it's just kind of instant, yeah, you, it went from a performance point of view, yeah, that yeah. just opens up so many options. And you can also do that, I mean, like I did a really super obvious feel there, but you can have like a, a, an alternate beat just yeah. on, on this part and do do the second beat like a, like a fill in instead. Yeah. So you can do all kinds of interesting uh, changes just by doing that. And of course, if we uh, choose another fill in mode, just going to the scatter here, so mm -hmm. we have that classic scatter effect oh, yeah, that we have with the older yeah. Ira stuff, so press that. Yeah, things yeah. like that yeah. as well, which is, this is more automatic, but there's tons of different patterns and, and depths to choose from. So I can still hold this one and turn off the depth. So you still get the glitchy stuff yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, a really, really useful live tool, but also, um, of course, in the studio as well, because you have, similarly to the TR8, again, mm -hmm. everything comes out on a separate channel via USB. Yes. So if you use the built-in USB audio interface, you can get the kick and snare and hi-hat and everything on separate channels at the same time. Yeah. Um, you can also use the separate outputs we have here as a separate DAW outputs. You actually have six additional uh, separate outputs. S six separate outputs. And yeah. I believe that they can be used as uh, trigger outputs yeah, as well. Correct. So, right? Yeah, correct. So yeah, you can set them to trigger mode. So that means you have up to seven triggers because actually you already have one dedicated trigger output. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if you have these kind of Eurorack gear or uh, anything that accepts a trigger signal. For instance, we have the boutiques here as well. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, the TBO3, which we have already wired up. So maybe we want to have a, a list. Let's have a look a, at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm going to just, uh, uh, we'll just keep the kick and bass there. And we'll just hit these two at the same time. Now we uh, access the trigger yeah. track. So I'll just put a couple of triggers. And now you can hear. You can hear the sequencer advancing uh, step yeah, by step, step with by this. Step. And of course, depending on the amount of steps and so on, it will sound slightly different each time. And you should just choose the rhythm from here. So you've got you can get the continuously evolving pattern yeah. of it just yeah, yeah. on me. Uh, just put a bunch more triggers. parameters. Uh, currently we're on the kick here, BD, bass drum, <laughs> and then uh, we've chosen low boost for this one. Uh, we can easily just switch around between the different effects, so this is low and high boost, uh, isolator and so on, transient, makes it more snappy, um, and drive, maybe distort it a little bit. Then we can go to another track and uh, have like a bit crusher on the hi-hats here, so just have a look and see what that sounds like. Uh, and so on. So each uh, single instrument has its own effect. And uh, also you have this control knob here that you can assign to do literally anything uh, out of all parameters, including the effects. So oh, great. Yeah, so let's say I want to go to the kick here. I just hold the control select button and now I can choose between all the different uh, sound design parameters and effect parameters. Uh, actually, it's quite a lot of sound design parameters like filter depth, uh, sorry, filter envelope and uh, amp envelope and bit depth and so stuff like that so it's a lot to, uh, to choose from here so I'm gonna choose uh, let's say uh, the cutoff filter here and now now we can filter the kick <laughs> and so on so you can do this for yeah. every single track um, there's all kinds of shortcuts as well so actually I'm gonna reload this pattern because it, it sounds quite broken right now so yeah. I'll just uh, put this back to where it was 
we have this reload function that just reloads oh, the man, kit. So you, can uh, just, you can bring, yeah, you can recall. What, what, if yeah. you get go a bit too far down the rabbit hole, you can... Uh, <laughs> yeah, just, just instantly, instantly reload. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Same Great. thing with the pattern. Cool. Um, so, okay, so we've done that. And now we can also add uh, the, the send returns are really mm -hmm. easy to add as well. So there's a little shortcut. I mean, you see here, reverb level and uh, delay level. That's like the master level. Yeah. But if I just hold the kick button here and turn up the reverb level, then actually that's the send for, for the kick. So, oh, no. so now we have uh, master reverb there on the kick or on the bass. also have the master effects here yeah so this has a just a, a main on off switch there and the control knob which again is assignable yeah. so uh, without master effects and a bit pressure on that of course you can easily change it to something else we'll just go to master effects edit uh, it says crusher here so we can go let's say flanger And you can assign this this control knob as well. So again, just hold the control select button, and we can say. And now we see the master effect parameters. So we can say flanger rate, for instance. Yeah. Uh, so now we're changing the rate with that. Yeah. Yeah. And this can be automated as well. So okay. the master effect switch and master control switch. Yeah. Uh, uh, or knob uh, can be also automated okay. with the motion recording. Ah, good. Uh, yeah. This is probably a good time to have a closer look at the motion uh, recording side of things in a little bit more detail. Yeah, as well. yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Uh, so um, again, if we have we have the baseline here, uh, I can actually change uh, th the settings for each step in detail if I want. I mean, I can record it in real time. So I'm going to actually just delete all the motion data for this. Okay. So now it's all just one note again. Uh, so what we can do is we can of course do it in real time. So I'll just press motion recording on and I'll just Like that <laughs> Not very musical, yeah. but <laughs> fast and easy uh, and we'll just delete that again um, and then uh, We can also set values uh, for for each step individually. So what I can do is like uh, Okay, I'll go to this step mm -hmm. and just hold that and turn a knob and now we can see tuning is one plus 27 and this one turns yellow which means there's a value on that step sure. and we can do it somewhere else so I'll just make this one uh, like zero and make this one 127 and so on and then this one minus 128 and so uh, now you have all those uh, values done manually yeah. so you can have if, if you have some serious like precision related things you can just just dial it in that way instead yeah. of just doing it live it's, yeah yeah totally it just yeah. turns it into a totally different instrument yeah. to a, a regular drum machine. So, uh, and the fact that every sound that we've heard, pretty much, except for when we plug the TVO three in, is coming from this. So yeah. it's, it's basically you can do a whole track. Yeah, I mean, like from while it officially is just a drum machine mm -hmm. and uh, w with sample import, but you can actually still make a really nice performance just using this yeah. and nothing. Yeah. David, thank you so much for showing us the TR eight X. It's absolutely amazing. My pleasure, man. Yeah, yeah, I think. Um, our customers are going to be uh, very excited to come down and have a have a bit of a try on this. Um, so, incidentally, uh, we have one of these beauties out on display in Red Dog Music in the Rolling Planet in our Edinburgh branch. Uh, so, if you want to come down, please give us a call uh, or jump onto the website and make an appointment. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. David, thank yeah. you very much thank indeed. Very much. Amazing. Yeah, All the best. Cheers. Cheers.